And so here we go again. Once again I've been looking around the internet trying to find um, something different and I'm quite surprised that I haven't found this particular program before. It's probably going to appeal to people who do a lot of photography more than anything else but it doesn't have to be used just on photography it can be used on all sorts of pictures and other bits and pieces as we will show um, shortly. The program's called Squirrels Water Reflections so we'll just go visit the site and perhaps download that before we start. And we go to Squirrel's site, I'll put this uh, address up at the end of this demonstration and it's called Squirrel's Water Reflections and basically what we have here is a small program that will uh, enhance your programs. Um, scrolling down the page just a little bit we can see um, uh, two little tutorials there, um, very small tutorials and you can download the main program from two cows or numerous other ones as well. We'll, we'll go to this one anyway, click on this link and we can download now. And It's only a small program, uh, two megabytes or something like that so when we've done the download we can close the page and go to our download folder where we find uh, the reflection in a zip folder. To unzip that if we right click on the uh, folder and click on extract and extract it to the known place which is usually within the download folder um, and we can open it up there's the installation uh, file which we should double click on that it'll ask the usual advice and what have you um, I've already installed it so I'm not going to go through this it literally takes about 15 to 20 seconds depending on your uh, computer to, to load it and let's have a look at the program here we are pretty much a black page now I'm going to show you uh, very quickly on one of my photographs that I've got preloaded here they're on my desktop so it makes it easier to find um, here's a picture I took outside the house of a sunset but if you look at the picture the bottom half is pretty bland not a whole lot happening so what I'm going to do is click on the icon up in the top left corner here uh, which will give me a forming tool to form a certain area. What I'm going to do is just very quickly and you don't really need to take a lot of time over this, you can do it fast. And I'm just going to trace that curb around, cross the road at the point of where it disappears and come down the other side and finish off the block by going round the screen and ending up at this place where I started. And to finish off I right click now if I click on the icon up top here to customize the uh, basic ripples and what have you and also the color of water I'm going to choose this one here and OK that um, I'm not going to do any fancy stuff on it I'm just going to go straight as it was the photograph that I've used that um, I've had to shrink it down it was originally about 18 to 20 megabytes big I had to reduce that in size down to just over a megabyte big um, and it seems to work fine. Obviously the bigger the picture you take the longer it's going to take to add this uh, animation to here so except that lot that I've changed and up on the top bar here we shoot the uh, run animation arrow we click on that again it will get you to just confirm uh, whether you want a basic ripple uh, ripples only or whether you want rain, snow, sleet, showers etc which we'll click OK on and that gives us a remarkable picture of the sunset reflected in the water which is now filling the bottom screen. Totally amazing. Nice little image there which has got the water flowing more like a river in the picture. Quite amazing. OK let's have a look a few times when I've used this program. Um, example on this particular of um, a stairway if I go through and do the same motions again and just literally highlight an area that I want filled with a water reflection uh, take it up to the top and apply the water reflection that I wanted okay yep and it shows us this now looking closely here we can see that this shadow of the um, tile joint doesn't match up at all and we can fix that quite easily by 
um, applying a, a built-in uh, remedy if we go to baseline we can either do it through the baseline at the top um, here so we can use baseline and also we can be begin and all we have to do is actually sh draw a line on the picture where we want the true reflection and in this case I'll put it ever so slightly above the uh, outline of where I wanted the water animation right click again just to complete that it will turn to a red and white dotted line um, if you don't want to go up on the menu top or if you you know if you don't want to use there these are shortcuts down the side and basically they do the same as I've just described um, we can use a baseline we can extend we can create a baseline we can extend a new segment of that particular baseline and so forth and so on and the best way to get into this program is by going through these menus yourself and having a go right so I've right clicked I'm going to apply that animation again and um, we always get this pitch this window come up unless we choose not to show the dialog box I prefer to see it just to make sure I got things right now with that baseline added on to this uh, downline of the tile we can uh, see that that shadow actually or the reflection actually pairs up with what we're meant to see um, again totally fascinating program um, sure that lots of uses it and I uh, have to add my thanks to Sarah Katz who gave me this photograph of the uh, tiles in the first place so yeah there's the basic one let's have a look at uh, something else we can do with it and close that one so here we are at the backrest this po picture was taken probably about um, a year ago or so and I'm going to click on the uh, start creating an outline now with this you have to use a little bit of um, imagination as to where the water would come to if it did rain that hard and we're going to follow this uh, black line around but you notice here this uh, comes forward so that obviously if I did the line through there it would look a bit ridiculous so we have to follow the depth on all the objects we meet and it's just a matter of very carefully following the objects around and using your intuition as to what you'd be able to see from your focal point as to where this water would be and I'm just going to follow it around this light unit to the edge of the pillar up to the uh, flower pot and just follow it all around as best as I can imagining that this is what I can see if the water did fill that area now this object here the signboard is in the foreground so we need to bear it in mind that the water wouldn't be in the same line as stuff further away and take it down to there and off the screen now we just need to complete that as a complete object so we'll follow the edge of the screen round come back up to where we started and then right click and that would be our start area we now need just make sure the settings for the watercolors are right um, so I'll have a, a bit of a bluish area or maybe even yeah that's about right I think we can OK that uh, close that window we can then set the animation again confirm what you want to do in the uh, pop-up box click OK and there we have the animation um, doesn't look too bad that one okay what else can we do with this because that's um, that's very good maybe change that color a little bit maybe make it a little bit lighter and a bit bluer so we can okay that let's have a look at our um, prognosis of what we can do here uh, perspective is great um, we can have little waves in the water we can do wave separation whether you want a lot of waves or just a few uh, and also a transparency here at the bottom you can maybe move that because if it was fresh rain you'd be able to see a little bit through it rather than uh, not so there we are we'll accept that as the settings um, and then run an animation again and as you can see it's a much bluer water you can actually if you look here at this um, sign board here billboard here we can actually see under the water there um, all the shadows do out marry up so we don't have to do anything with the baseline that's quite a nice uh, image um, 
Excellent. It's a still photograph, but we have the animation. We can actually save that animation. If we go to um, uh, the top bar here, we can see save animation as a flash movie. We can do it as an AVI video clip. We can save it as a, a GIF um, file. And of course, that would give us individual pictures of the whole of the uh, animated sequence. But I'm just going to go for a uh, flash movie. We'll click on that. Again, confirm what sort of ripples you want. I'm going to do something different. I'm going to add um, add the ring ripples. Okay, and okay that. I'll give it a name and tell it how many frames per second we want. I'll just uh, make that a bit smaller. We don't want it to go too fast. We want it to be nice and gentle. Click OK, and we get the little chappy bouncing his ball while it does the work and there we are, the sequence has been saved OK that, uh, we can close that image, close the program and here on the desktop we have uh, the file I just created and there is the image as a small movie showing ringlets in the water we can vary the size of those ringlets and uh, make, make it look really bad, we can actually add um, some weather into there so it can be raining quite uh, heavily if you wish it to be or snowing for that matter that's the demonstration for today i hope you've enjoyed it um, it's fun to play with this uh, you can put those puddles and pools pretty much anywhere you like and it certainly adds interest to a bottom half of what could be a boring picture so thank you very much for listening again the details of um, what we can do in this program uh, will be up next and you also have the uh, website that we got it from. Thank you very much for listening. And please remember to subscribe to Howard L. Hall on YouTube. And if you've liked the video, then click like as usual. And if you don't like it, then you click the thumbs up button at the bottom. At least that's the way I tell it. Thank you for listening.